In this instructional video, we are looking at the four major components of a bell strategy. And they are the size of your channel area, the standard deviation levels you're using, the lot sizing strategy, and then your baskets target. All of this will be explained. Just a reminder that we include training on our robot marketing pages and please read the Bell Trading robot page quite thoroughly. So the Bell Trading strategy is based on a statistical probability model, which says that if you have a, an average of the price action, 68% of the price action will happen within one deviation of the average and then 95 percent of the price action will happen in two deviations from the price average and then basically the rest will happen within three deviations of the average that's the concept and it'll might be clearer when we look at the charts so how do you trade this uh, you ha on the chart you'll see an average line uh, you don't do anything when the price is near the average line. When it hits a deviation transaction line, you would enter a trade back to the average. So this system trades back to the average all the time, which makes logical sense. So when it reaches there, it trades back to the average. So when it reaches the second one, it will tr trade back to the next deviation line. And the third one will trade back to the deviation. So you're always trading towards the average okay so let's have a look at this on a chart and let's have a look at the components the first component was the size of our channel area this particular one is is based on an annual channel so in other words it's it basically runs 12 months back it is on the daily chart and um, it contains and we we'll just have a quick look 309 candles daily candles now the bigger your channel area the more robust and more stable it is here's a channel area that's only two weeks so there, there you can see the channel area and i'm going to just again look in this case by coincidence the uh, number of candles used is 309 candles but the difference is this is based on the one hour chart and not on the daily chart. Why would you use such short term is that on the daily charts, transactions can take weeks to resolve themselves. They're very slow. Traders like trading a little bit faster. And the shorter periods give you a chance to enter many more deals. So that explains how the size of your channel area comes about. The settings give you an opportunity to specify the time frame that you want to use and the number of look back candles that you want to use. That's one component of the Bell strategy. By the way, these deviation levels are calculated by the robot. Okay, so now we're on to the deviation levels and the major ones are the average the first level, the second level, and the third level. But as I've said, it's much better to have lots of levels close to the average so that you can do lots of transactions. Now, in this example, and this is only an example, the trader has put in four levels from zero to one. So it's one, two, three, four, where the transactions can occur. And then for the next step, only three, one, two, three, and then the next step, only two. And that is because there's less likely to be price action at that in that area, less activity in this area, and most of the activity is there. You could, for instance, vary that by putting in eight levels here, six levels there, and four levels there. The, these are all variables, but they are the component of a Bell strategy. Then let's look at the lot sizing component of the Bell strategy. To keep it simple, you could keep the same lot sizing for each of those particular levels. So when uh, the price reaches such a level, it will open a transaction using, let's say in this case, 0 0.01. And then at the next level, 0 0.02. And the next level, 0 0.03. So you could use that kind of way of determining lot sizing. You could also just keep them all the same. You could all, They all could be 0 0.01. This is just another component 
of the bell strategy in that the further the price moves away from the average the more likely it is to spring back to the moving average and that is why you can afford to have higher lots and now let's look at the final component of the bell strategy which is the basket target and how that works is let's take this example here uh, the price moves up you open a cell there moves up again you open another cell another cell another cell another cell another cell at this point you've got six open cell trades and they are all thrown into one basket and in order for those to close they have to hit a target specified by the trader and it the tar because of the increased lot sizing uh, the price doesn't have to go all the way back to the start or even halfway it it, it will actually hit the target um, probably after two or th two or three deviations backwards so let's say in this example it comes down here and hits its target so what will then happen is that all six of those trades will be closed in LIFO orders to comply with the US and the EA will continue trading from then on so if the price goes up again it will open another cell so for single trades when the price goes in the intended direction that it needs to go the next deviation line becomes the target so if if a cell was opened there and it goes there it will just automatically cash in as the target okay so now you know the four components of a bell strategy they are reflected in the settings you can vary them only the market can determine whether your settings are too aggressive or inappropriate for the currency that you're using one of the things I need to point out is that the standard deviation channels take into account the volatility of a currency so for instance the euro pound this uh, the, the gaps between the annual price movement uh, is 10, 100 pips whereas some of the currencies it could be as high as 600 or 700 pips based on their volatility if you have any questions about this video please use the youtube comments facility to raise those questions and i'll answer them in that facility from me alex aploy i hope you enjoyed the battle trader robot and have a better understanding of the strategies that it uses.